Could milk be the solution for individuals with diabetes? It appears that cows have the ability to produce human insulin in their milk. Greetings, everyone. Today we will delve into an intriguing subject matter. It has been discovered, through a study published in the Biotechnology Journal, that scientists have achieved a remarkable feat. The creation of a cow capable of producing human insulin in its milk. This groundbreaking achievement was made possible by a collaborative effort between researchers from the University of Illinois and the Federal University of Sao Carlos in Brazil. The process involved the insertion of a specific segment of human DNA responsible for coding proinsulin into the nuclei of 10 cow embryos. It is important to note that the expression of this human DNA was limited solely to the mammary tissue of the cow, ensuring that there was no presence of human insulin in its bloodstream or other bodily tissues. Moving forward, the team intends to replicate this success by cloning the cow and breeding transgenic bulls with females, ultimately establishing a specialised herd of transgenic offspring. Now, without any further delay, let us embark on our discussion. According to Matt Wheeler, a professor in the Department of Animal Sciences at the University of Illinois, Mother Nature ingeniously designed the mammary gland to efficiently produce protein. This natural system can be harnessed to create a protein that has the potential to benefit millions of individuals worldwide. Wheeler's expertise extends beyond the Department of Animal Sciences. He is also affiliated with several other esteemed institutions, including the Carl Illinois College of Medicine, the Granger College of Engineering, the College of Veterinary Medicine, the Beckman Institute, and the Carl R. Woese Institute for Genomic Biology. The development of the insulin-producing cow described in a new study published in the Biotechnology Journal showcases Wheeler as the lead author. This proof-of-concept accomplishment has the potential to be expanded upon pending further testing and approval from the FDA. In Brazil, Wheeler collaborated with fellow researchers to introduce a specific portion of human DNA that encodes proinsulin, the precursor to active insulin, into the nuclei of 10 cow embryos. These modified embryos were then implanted into the wombs of healthy cows, resulting in the birth of a single transgenic calf. Utilizing advanced genetic engineering techniques, the human DNA was carefully directed to be expressed solely in mammary tissue, where gene sequences are read and translated into protein products. According to Wheeler, in the past, the approach to DNA manipulation was rather haphazard, relying on the hope that it would be expressed in the desired location. However, with advancements in technology, a more precise and deliberate method is now possible. By utilizing a DNA construct that specifically targets mammary tissue, the risk of human insulin being present in the cow's bloodstream or other bodily tissues is eliminated. Moreover, this approach capitalizes on the mammary gland's inherent ability to produce substantial amounts of protein. The team made an unsuccessful attempt to impregnate the mature cow through conventional artificial insemination methods. Instead, they employed hormones to stimulate her initial lactation. While the quantity of milk produced was less than what would typically result from a successful pregnancy, it was still notable that both human proinsulin and insulin were present in the milk, which came as a surprise. According to Wheeler, our objective was to produce proinsulin, extract and purify it into insulin, and proceed accordingly. However, the cow took matters into her own hands and essentially performed the process herself. Remarkably, she produces approximately three times more biologically active insulin compared to proinsulin. Wheeler expressed admiration for the mammary gland, referring to it as a truly extraordinary organ. The amount of insulin and proinsulin present in the milk, which would require extraction and purification for practical purposes, reached a few grams per litre. However, due to the induction of lactation through hormonal means and the smaller than anticipated milk volume, it is difficult for the team to provide an exact estimate of the quantity of insulin that would be produced during a typical lactation. According to Wheeler's conservative estimate, Considering that a cow has the potential to produce one gram of insulin per litre and a typical Holstein cow produces 40 to 50 litres of milk per day, the amount of insulin generated is substantial. This is particularly noteworthy when one considers that the standard unit of insulin is equivalent to 0.0347 milligrams. According to Wheeler, each gram is equal to a staggering 28,818 units of insulin. 
This mind-boggling amount is derived from just one litre of milk. And keep in mind that Holsteins have the capability to produce a whopping 50 litres per day. I'll let you do the calculations. With an optimistic outlook, the team intends to replicate the cow through cloning and anticipates improved results in terms of pregnancy and complete lactation cycles in the subsequent generation. Their ultimate goal is to generate transgenic bulls that can mate with the females, resulting in transgenic offspring that will form a specialised herd. Wheeler expresses confidence that even a modest-sized herd could surpass current techniques such as transgenic yeast and bacteria in the production of insulin. What sets this approach apart is that it eliminates the need for intricate facilities or infrastructure. According to Wheeler, the production of insulin in milk on a large scale would require specialised facilities that maintain a high level of health for the cattle. However, this is a task that falls well within the capabilities of our established dairy industry. Wheeler expressed confidence in their expertise when it comes to working with cows. Before transgenic cows can serve as a source of insulin for individuals with diabetes worldwide, it will be necessary to establish a streamlined process for collecting and purifying insulin products, in addition to obtaining FDA approval. However, Wheeler remains optimistic that this day will arrive. He expressed the possibility of a future where a herd of 100 animals comparable in size to a dairy in Illinois or Wisconsin, could generate enough insulin to meet the country's demands. Furthermore, with a larger herd, it would be conceivable to produce the entire global supply of insulin within a year. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.